G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Today's recipe is so simple, so easy, you're going to love it. It's not the most healthiest recipe around, but it does taste delish. So join me today as I make my version of baked apple slices. Okay, so we're gonna start this off by making the flavoring for the apple slices. So into a bowl, I'm going to place in two tablespoons of icing sugar or powdered sugar, and to that, two tablespoons of cinnamon. And just mix it around until it's completely combined. Okay, next I've got a baking tray here, and I've just lined it with some non-stick baking paper. So with our flavoring mixture, we're just going to lightly sprinkle that on top of the baking paper. Just a small amount, not a huge amount, of course. And next I have some freshly sliced apples. So the thinner you cut them, the less they have to be in the oven. And of course, the thicker they are, the more time they'll need to bake and dry out. So we're just going to place those on top of the non-stick baking paper. And one last step, we're just going to sprinkle some more on top of our apples. Okay, so we're gonna place these into the oven now. Now the temperature needs to be as low as you could possibly get it. So at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit or about say 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. So once in the oven, we're going to let them sit there for about say 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, take them out of the oven, turn them around, then place them back in for another 45 minutes. Okay, so I've just taken them out of the oven after the first 45 minutes and we're just going to turn them over. And because we season the bottom, as in the tray, there is no need to season them again. Okay, so we're just going to place them back into the oven for another 45 minutes. Okay, so I've taken them out of the oven and I've had them cooling for about half an hour and they're ready to serve. So there are two ways you can do this. One, you can leave it in even longer and you get that real crispy type texture. Or you can do it how I've done it and it's just slightly moist on the inside. And when I say just, I mean just but let's give one of these a try mm. oh that's delicious absolutely delicious it is such a simple snack recipe but the mixture of those three flavors the apple the sugar and the cinnamon really does work well and these will easily last a few days in a sealed container so if you want to keep them around the house or pack them into the lunch boxes it really makes no difference how you have them the only thing that matters is when you do eat them they taste simply delish so give them a go today because they really are super simple and easy to make, yet the flavour is fantastic. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, the list of ingredients are down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter and Home Handy Hints channel where I put up three new Home Handy Hints videos every single week. And until then, please give this video a massive thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.